10 AI walk on a bridge in a summer afternoon, spot a child drowning in the water next to the bridge, jump over the guards, saving the child, taking it to shore and giving the child back Thank to you. the parents for a cash reward? I don't think so. But in this video, we're going to cover all the AI inside of High Level. We're going to cover workflow AI, funnel AI, conversation AI, email AI, voice AI, AI dashboards, and so much more. At the end of this video, you'll probably hate the word AI, but at least you'll know all the different AI inside of High Level. Let's get straight into it. The first one we're going to cover is workflow AI. To find that, you're going to come over to automation in the bottom left, come up to create workflow, or you can already see it over here, build using AI. When you click on create workflow, you can click on one of these two options. It will take you to the same place. I'm going to click on this one and you'll see this bar at the top over here. Okay, so what Workflow AI is, is pretty much you can type whatever you want as a prompt and the AI will take that and build a workflow for you. So I'm going to type in the prompt over here. After a customer fills out a form, send a thank you email for signing up, then wait two days and send them an SMS asking when they are the best available for a quick discovery call. Then if they reply positive, send them a thank you SMS and if they don't reply, then just send them one follow-up email. So that's very specific. If I click on enter over here, you will see the AI will begin generating the workflow. Just a general tip for the prompt. You want to be very specific with what you want the end goal to be. So don't just say send an email and then hope for the best. And there we go. The workflow has now been created. So you can see it's added a form, then an email action. When I click on the email action, it not only added the action, but it also wrote the email for me. So if you remember the prompt, I asked it to send a thank you email for signing up. Then if I look over here, the email says, Says, thank you for completing the form and signing up with us. Then I asked it to wait two days, it did that, and then send an SMS. If I click on the SMS, it asks the customer what is their availability for the discovery call, which I also asked it in the prompt. If I scroll down, it added a wait step, which was to wait until the contact replied, which again is accurate. And then if I scroll down, if they did reply, send them a thank you SMS. If they didn't reply, send them a follow up email, which is exactly what I said over here. So the workflow was pretty spot on. It did take around two minutes to load this workflow. But again, that's probably faster than you could have done it. Not trying to throw any shade, but it's probably true. In the top right corner, you can test the workflow or if you're ready, you can click on publish. You can go back and forth with the AI inside the workflow. If you wanted to add more stuff or remove something or customize an action to make it say something different, you will always be able to find that if I click on the X over here in the left hand side right over there. Next is conversation AI. To find that we first gonna go back in the top left corner, then come down to AI agents. Then you'll see at the top here conversation AI where you'll see the dashboard for all your agents. If you wanna create one, click on create bots. In this case, I'm gonna choose a prompt based bot. This one over here is the easiest. This one is the most advanced. For this case, I'll go for the one in the middle, click on create new bot. And I'll say that I wanted to handle appointment booking then click on continue. So what the conversation AI bot is, is pretty much just an AI agent that can respond to all your different leads via text. So that bot can be trained off of a specific knowledge base, which is all the information, pretty much your business's Wikipedia that it can then use to answer your leads. So if we look at the setup, we simply give it a name, set the bot status, autopilot means that the bot responds automatically and it will respond to all the different leads. Then just below that, you can toggle on and off all the different channels that you want the AI bot to respond on. So if I don't want WhatsApp and maybe Facebook, just toggle it off. If I want add it, click on the drop down menu and click on it. Then advanced settings in the bottom here, add your business's name, set the wait time before responding and select the maximum messages a bot can send in a conversation. You set this number because you don't want the bot to have an unlimited conversation with one client using up all your credits because again, that's costing you. Then if we come to the bottom right corner, click on save, you'll see the bot is successfully created. Now, if we come over to bot goals, this is the part what I find is the coolest in this area. And that is if you scroll down past the prompt, you can set up your actions like this one over here, human handover, meaning that that if the lead is having a conversation with the AI and somehow it spots that it is an AI and then it says, can I speak to a manager or a human being? Then you can very easily do that by setting up this action. In this case, if it was human requested, you can enable the scenario and you can see the example phrases that I want to talk to a manager. I want to talk to a human. If the bot detects that, then it will pass it over to a human. If you scroll down below, you can assign the conversation to a specific user. That could be your manager or the human being. So just select it, choose your person, and then you can even adjust the final message. Like, sure, I'm transferring your request to a human agent and that will go out to the person after they requested it. Then when you click on save in the bottom right corner, human handover will then be created. You can get super flexible with this. You can trigger different workflows, set up appointment booking, transfer the bot, do auto follow up. And pretty much this is a much more flexible, simpler way than the workflow because you're given the AI control to take specific actions on your behalf. Whereas the workflow, you can customize it for every specific step. Once you've done that, you can scroll up to the top here and then on the right hand side, you can test your bot. So training or creating a bot for your business or your client 
client's business and training it on the information probably takes around three to four minutes. If you're setting up more actions on the bottom here, it will probably take a few more minutes, but probably less than 30 minutes per bot. Great, now let's talk about funnel and website AI. To find that, come over to the sites on the left-hand side. Now you can either go to funnels or websites. It will be the same. In the funnels, you go see it over here or by clicking on new funnel and then clicking on funnel AI. And then in the website side, if you click on websites, again, you will see it on the right-hand side over here, build with AI. In this case, I'll just build a funnel, click on new funnel, funnel AI, click on continue, and it will load into the funnel AI builder. So on the left-hand side, I will have to fill in some information like the name of the funnel, select the business niche. I'll choose real estate because I own 10,000 homes. Select the goal of the funnel, which I'll say generate leads and select my target audience, which in this case, I'll just say small businesses. And then what are you offering? I'll say a course or a training. Then you'll see in the middle here, it auto populates a prompt for you tailored to the information that you just set. You can also attach files or media, which will just add that asset into the prompt as well. Then when you click on generate, it will start generating your funnel page. So it's quite an interesting way that it does it. You'll see on the left hand side here, it first makes a to-do list of what the AI needs to do in order to build your funnel AI page. Once it's set those to-dos, then it will go step-by-step step crossing them off and completing it and building your funnel out. So there we go. Just like that, the funnel has been created. Transform your real estate business. I can easily go and customize it to whatever I want now, just to show you what it looks like if I quickly scroll through it all. It's a pretty decent funnel layout already. It has some FAQs. Again, just like all the other places, if I did want to refine it with AI first, then I can just come over to the left-hand side here and modify it if I want to add something or just add the image yourself or ask it to add something new. This took around 40 seconds to create. If I click on the mobile view of this, you'll see it has also been built for the mobile view too. So if I close this window in the left-hand side, if you ever want to find it again, then just click on this button over here to use the AI function. Or if you just want to add normal elements, then click on the plus button right next to it. All right, and that is Funnel AI, which is the identical process to the website side. So I won't build one, but I'll quickly show you what it looks like. Come over to websites, click on build with AI, and you'll see it's the same process. Okay, so the next one we're going to go over is the review AI. Come over to the left-hand side, click on back, scroll down to reputation. It says review AI just got eight times cheaper. Then if I come up to reviews, I can see inside of reviews, there is an AI summary option. That is to summarize all your different reviews. So you can be lazy pretty much and not read all your reviews, but get an overview of what is going on. If it's positive or negative, you will also see that on the overview page right in the right hand side here. This is just the summary on your dashboard. Then if you come over to settings in the top middle here, you will see reviews AI. This is now creating a reviews AI bot. What reviews AI is, is an AI bot that can respond to reviews that are coming in, request reviews after an appointment, suggest review responses that you can send off. To create one, click on the create agent in the bottom right corner. Then you can choose a template of these personas like gray space, and then click on proceed. Then you can adjust the agent's name, change the instructions or the prompt, select the tone of the agents, select the language, and then select the review source. Meaning if you want to reply on all the channels or just specific ones, if it is specific ones, then just click on it and then choose the right source. Once you're happy, click over here and then click on save. Now, if I click on these three dots next to gray space and click on edit, it will take me back to that page if I ever want to modify it. But if I keep scrolling down to the bottom here, I will see the review type. Do I want this AI agent to only respond to a certain amount of reviews and above or a certain amount of reviews and below or all of them? I can adjust that right over here. So if I wanted to respond to all five star reviews only, I would click on that. If I want to add a footer message, so after it's generated me a message, it will say thank you at the end if I type in thank you here. And then if you want an example, just click on generate over here and it will generate an example reply. Then again, make sure you click on save. Okay, so I'm going to quickly jump back into the workflows to show you one more AI point. So again, click on automation, come to your workflow. And if you click on the plus button here, on the right hand side, if you scroll down, you'll see that there are different actions relating to AI, like conversation AI. If I click on it, and if you want to learn more about the action, just click on learn more in the top right corner and it will give you a summary on the left hand side. Like this action is designed to enable an automated conversational bot within your workflow that can answer your questions or provide responses based on the predefined data. So let me quickly come back and close this, click on the plus and keep scrolling down. You will see here there is workflow AI to translate content, to summarize text for intent detection and for decision making. Please note that these are premium actions, which means they cost per execution rather than being free like the other actions at the top here. You can tell the difference between them by seeing this icon over here. Then at the bottom, we have GPT powered by OpenAI. If you click on that, this gives you the ability to send a prompt to ChatGPT inside the workflow and get a response. Again, if you wanna learn more about that, click on this button here where you can get a more detailed summary and you'll see some of the use cases over here. Could be to generate personalized replies to customer inquiries based on previous interactions or craft marketing copy, email drafts or social media posts dynamically, saving time and resources or to follow up with leads using AI generated messages tailored to their interests or behavior. So that's what you can use that action 
action for, you can simply use it by literally just entering the prompt. How I've used this action before is I got my leads to fill out a form that had a whole bunch of different questions on it. After they submitted the form, which would be the trigger inside my workflow, I added this action. And then in the prompt, I pretty much asked it to summarize all the different answers and give me possible services that I could offer my leads. There are better ways to do that, but that's how I use that action personally. And there we go. A lot of AI going on here, a lot of potential and a lot of opportunities to solve business problems. Make sure you send this video to somebody who needs to see the latest AI features inside of High Level. And if you comment AI down below, we'll send you a resource to $8,000 worth of bonuses and goodies. So if you want that, just comment and we'll send it over to you. I hope this video was helpful. And even though AI cannot help a child from drowning, it can do a lot of cool stuff inside of High Level. Thanks for watching.